first, first of all, I'd, I'd like to say um, uh, our thoughts and prayers go out to all the family and friends of the uh, players from the Humboldt Broncos. Um, it was a tragic day yesterday in the hockey world, and we didn't get a chance to talk about it last night, but uh, today was a very emotional uh, day for our players. Um, a lot of uh, players and, and staff members of this team have been touched or know someone who's uh, had, had been part of that tragedy in Humboldt. So uh, it, was a, it was a horrible day yesterday, but uh, all our thoughts and prayers go out to the parents and the friends and families of the players in the Humboldt Broncos. Uh, as far as the season goes, you clinch the playoff spot tonight. Obviously a lot of ups and downs this season. What can you say about the guys in the locker room and the perseverance they showed this year? Well, one word, res resilient. Our guys have been resilient all year. Uh, you saw that last night, you know, battling back to get a point. And then tonight, down 3-1 going to the third period. Um, you know, tonight was a real, I thought, we were a better game of, the, of, of both nights. But, uh, you know, we got down 3-1 in the second period, and we battled back to get to 3-3. And, you know, we're kind of looking to see if we get the, the point. But scored a big goal to get the 4-3 win and, and, uh, and uh, vault us in the playoffs. I, our guys earned it. You know, 26 overtime games in the regular season grinding out points on the road, some big road trips, and uh, for the guys that clinch it with three games left, you know, take a little bit of pressure off the group. Um, it was outstanding. It says a lot about the guys we have, and um, so uh, give our guys a lot of credit. It's been a, it's been a long year, and, and uh, now the new season's going to start in a couple weeks, and uh, now we can, uh, you know, we're in a dance, and now we want to move forward. Down 3-1, entering the third period against a team with a lot of NHL experience like Rockford. What was the message in the locker room going into the third? Well, we just talked about, you know, um, doing a couple things different. And, and uh, we said if we could score in the first five minutes, which we did, we'd take a little bit of pressure off our group. And, you know, we managed to get it back to 3-3 three, three, and then, uh, you know, scored the game winner late. And uh, But it was good to see our special teams respond after last night. We weren't, we weren't happy with them. And, we changed the units a little bit tonight and just gave ourselves a different look and we scored two power play goals tonight so uh, that paid off for us but um, you know it was a group effort just like the season it was a great group effort by our players tonight and uh, very proud of them and uh, we're looking for it forwards to you know finishing out the regular season the right way and then getting into the second season. A few new look lines tonight including Morn with Gurionov and Hintz to start the game. What about those line combinations can you use in the final three games here and in the postseason? Well, we'll see where we are. We'll bring the guys in Monday and, and see how healthy we are getting ready for the last three games and uh, see if we need to rest anybody moving forward. But we've got some bodies we can put guys in the lineup. And you know, we're trying to find some chemistry moving forward for the playoffs. And I like the look of a couple lines tonight. So we'll just see where we are during the week and during the last three games. And then obviously get ready for our first round matchup. What's the game plan for the final three games of the season? Is it health first, experimentation with the line combos first, or what? Well, we're, we're going to try and, and uh, start playing the right way. Like, I thought we played the right way tonight. Um, I thought we had some spurts last night playing the right way, so that'll be part of the message moving forward. And um, Some of the, uh, the uh, changes we made this morning, I thought our guys responded very well, and uh, we're continuing to try and uh, tweak our group moving forward getting into the playoffs. Thoughts on that last goal? I mean, kind of like the longest tendered star to the shortest one, I guess. You know, what are your thoughts on the last goal and the drop? Well, that's there? a good way to put it. You know, uh, Mo made a heck of a pass there to Joel, and uh, Joel got good wood on it. Joel's been with us for about a week and a half here now, and, um, you know, he's really fit into the group. He's a big, heavy centerman. You know, he's playing the wall a little bit, not shift, but he's had some good looks and hasn't scored yet, so it was good to see him get the first goal tonight. And, I'm sure that'll only help his confidence, but it's kind of neat to see the only one of the newest guys and one of the older guys on to get the assist. But that's Mo. Mo can make a play at any given time, and uh, he set up a game winner tonight. Where does this win rank amongst all of them this season? Well, any time you get a clinching game, and you know the fashion that we did it in, coming back down three-one in the third, uh, you know, with a full house, and, and uh, you know what. A, what a great way to send some hockey fans or new hockey fans home uh, when your team clinches a playoff uh, victory in front of all these people. So uh, it's exciting. We're looking, you know, um, we're going to celebrate it for a day here and get ready to practice on Monday. Thanks, guys.